Uh, what about you've spent a lot of time with another queen, Miss J Lo? Oh yes, I love my J Lo. I love my J Lo. I'm so happy for her. Did you see the pictures of her and Ben? I like. She is glowing. I don't know why this didn't happen years ago, but I'm glad it's happening now. J Lo is. She's New York. She's a New Yorker. You know what I mean? For us at KTU, we're very fortunate. She loves KTU. She always comes through and we've always supported her. We have been her station. And, um, and that's why I really do. I love our connection. Whenever she comes through, she asked me about the kids. Like she actually used to live when she was with Mark Anthony around the same neighborhood that I live in. So we have that too. And we always talk about that, but JLo is just she is, and I mean this in the nicest way possible, a hustler. She does not stop. That woman is a machine. She is all about her job. I mean, for her to have that commitment, not only for her body, but for her mind, for what she does, she's a smart businesswoman. She has made something out of like, think about it. Selena, nobody knew who she was. And then she comes out with her music. I mean, you talk about a person who is multi-talented and took it to the nth level, that's JLo for me. So I just have nothing but love and respect for her. And I always love when she comes in because I'm like, okay, what makeup are you using? What are you doing now? You know what I mean? Cause I always get like hints from her, but she's fantastic. Love my JLo. Uh, yes. I've seen her live. And like the last time I saw her in Vegas, I was like, this isn't whether you like the music or not, like this isn't a normal human being. Like it's no. literally, I don't understand it. Yeah. At any age, like forget, like, but even like, how does someone do that? I don't get it. And like, she looks better than some 20 year olds. I mean, seriously, she is crushing it. That's why I say it's like her commitment to her body, to like her craft, to what she's doing. And also I really appreciate the fact that she's like producing her own stuff now. You know what I mean? I think that that's just another move in Hollywood where there's a woman who's taking this opportunity to really get out there and and be in the room when they're talking about developing things. So JLo for me, she's one of my ultimates. <laughs> and you're you're very, you're all in support of this Benefer movement. I, I can say. I am. Uh, anything, you know what it is? I think life is too short and I've always been a big believer in this. It is so hard to find love, especially in 2021. Like seriously, for her to find this again and to be happy, who are we to take that away from her? Go do you, baby. Live your life. Be happy. Have that great sex. I'm here for it. I want to see you glowing. And I think Ben looks great and happy. It's like, I don't understand why anybody wouldn't be supportive of it. Do you think this has legs? Like, could this go to distance? I think with, you, with Jennifer Lopez, absolutely. She's a lover. She loves to be a love. I mean, honestly, look at, look at her track record. And, I, and I'm not saying that in a negative way. Who doesn't love to be in love? Who doesn't love that feeling? You know what I mean? So I just think it's wonderful. And I think that it does have staying power. I know the, that her mom loves Ben. I know her sisters love Ben. So, you know, I think that there's a lot there. I think the kids, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. I don't know if anything's happened there. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's a wonderful partnership. Perhaps there'll be a double date with you and your husband, Mark, and Ben oh. and Jen soon. Do you want <laughs> you me to put that out to the universe also for yes. you? You never know. Were you shocked when she split from A-Rod? Um, I was, but then again, like when I heard all the rumors, I was not surprised. I got to be honest with you because I was just like, first of all, what a dummy. You have J-Lo and you're DMing allegedly these reality stars, it's like, get your life right, dude. Like you have literally the best woman with you. He messed it up for himself. And I'm sorry, A-Rod, but I have to speak the truth. So, you know, that's it. That's what I said. I mean, it's Jennifer Lopez. Like what, yeah. went, what went wrong? Well, I don't think it says anything about her. It doesn't. It says a lot about him and his insecurity and his need to feel wanted or desired or, you know what I mean? I think that when I looked at a lot of people were saying, which really upset me, oh, something must be wrong with, I'm like, there is nothing wrong with JLo. I'm like, this has everything to do with him. And if you can't appreciate and love what you have in front of you, then you don't deserve her. Then she does deserve to go off and be happy with somebody else. Boom. I said it. <laughs> but it's, it's true. It is all yeah. about him. It's like, this has nothing to do with her. And yes, Madison allegedly from Southern Charm, like what's going on? Right. Right. It I just don't doesn't get it. I put them both together and I'm just kind of like, 
okay. I mean, not that Madison isn't a beautiful, I mean, look at her. She's gorgeous, but it's just like, not JLo. <laughs> it's Jennifer freaking Lopez. Exactly, 